Air. In 1984, Oregon-based Nike Incorporated is very nearly closing their b-ball shoe division because of low deals. Because of this, showcasing VP burglarize Strasser, Jason Bateman, alongside Prime supporter-in-chief Phil Knight, Ben Affleck, tasked Nike's secondary school ball headhunter Sonny Vaccaro, Matt Damon, to concoct another representative for Nike b-ball shoes. The organization made a misfortune and Knight just needed to terminate 25% of the representatives. The b-ball division has a whole financial plan of $250,000. Sonny needs more, which Knight rejects. Nike ruled the running shoe market and a billion-dollar business, however Knight is distrustful on the off chance that individuals truly even consideration about ball shoes. Sonny is a player and invests a great deal of his energy in Vegas. He wins more often than not, however at that point has a propensity to blow everything on one terrible bet. In 1984, Chat has a 54% portion of the ball shoe market and Adidas has 29%. Nike is at 17% offer. Nike offers more cash for supports, yet secondary school b-ball players, going to provincial, need to finish paperwork for Adidas as they are thought of hot. Nike is viewed as a running organization. Talk is the NBA elite player shoe. Howard White, Chris Exhaust, lets Sonny know that he generally marked player through their moms. As young men pay attention to their moms. The Nike trademark, Get It Done evidently came from the final expressions of a convict who was confronting a terminating crew, while considering the b-ball players picked in the 1984 NBA draft, Nike's leaders think third pick Michael Jordan, Damian Youthful, is untouchable, being both an enthusiast of Adidas and excessively costly for the ball division's pitiful spending plan. Nike is thinking about pursuing three players between the fifth and the twentieth picks. Sonny addresses a staple representative who says that Jordan is over-evaluated and his progress in secondary school isn't probably going to be changed over in NBA. He got high in the draft pick because of the a single shot which assisted his group with coming out on top for the title at school level. In any case, when Sonny watches Jordan's features related to an Arthur Ashe business for his head rackets, Vaccaro becomes persuaded that Nike ought to seek after who he thinks about a generational ability, with both brand and competitor working off one another. Sonny contends to Strasser that Jordan was only 18 years of age, at this point the entire last play was planned around him. Indeed, even his mentor saw significance in him. Sonny believes that the whole spending plan should sign Jordan. Nike to construct a shoe around Jordan. David Falk is Jordan's representative and says that Jordan is an Adidas fan. Adidas is making a $250,000 plus offer. Nike doesn't have a potential for success. David says Jordan prefers Adidas tracksuits, where Nike doesn't measure up to them. Sonny lets Knight know that he will wager his vocation to get Jordan in. Knight will possibly close down on the off chance that Sonny has a gathering, yet David won't get a gathering with Jordan until Sonny makes a composed proposition. Sonny can't make a composed proposal as he isn't approved at this point, following supper with his companion George Raveling, Marlon Wayans, who trained Jordan in the Olympic competition, and requesting his help in pursuing the star. George upholds Sonny however is certain that in the event that Sonny doesn't close with Jordan, bypassing David could imply that Sonny loses his employment. Vaccaro goes to Wilmington, North Carolina, where he persuades Michael's mom Dolores as Viola Davis that Nike would offer Jordan all the consideration that he wouldn't get from his favored brands Adidas and Chat. Sonny tells Dolores precisely how the opposite and Adidas gatherings would go and implores her to think about Nike, assuming she accepts what he is talking about is correct I in the wake of getting a negative call from Jordan's representative David Falk, Chris Messina. In regards to reaching his client's family, Vaccaro discovers that the Jordans have booked a gathering at Nike's Beaverton, Oregon Central Command the next Monday. Vaccaro and Strasser begin setting up their pitch while mentioning shoe fashioner Peter Moore, Matthew Marr, to set up a model, which Moore names Air Jordan after Nike's Air Sole innovation. Those days NBA had a standard that a ball shoe must be 51% white. Sonny and Strasser choose to go past the 49% variety and simply pay the fine of $5,000 per game to the NB for defying that guideline. Meanwhile, Knight consents to dole out the ball division's whole $250,000 spending plan to enlist Jordan. After the gathering with Jordan and his folks is fruitful, Vaccaro discovers that Adidas matched the proposal while adding a Mercedes-Benz 380 SL, and he figures the arrangement won't go through. 
In any case, Lucaro gets a call from Dolores, who expresses that Michael will sign with Nike on the condition he procures a level of each and every Air Jordan sold despite the fact that Lucaro thinks the organization's higher-ups wouldn't acknowledge this reward, Knight is informed he considers it significant to guarantee the underwriting. An epilogue uncovers the Air Jordan surpassed Knight's assumptions for $3 million in deals, procuring $162 million in its most memorable year and turning into a consistent kind of revenue for Nike. Today Air Jordan does $4 billion in yearly deals for Nike. Strasser got the credit. Howard White became the principal architect of the Air Jordan division at Nike. Michael earns $400 million every year from Nike because of his income share. Nike purchased Talk in 2003. David Falk sold his organization for $100 million. Sonny was considered perhaps of the best game reformers ever. Dolores runs Noble Cause. Her Air Jordan bargain implied that billions more went to competitors and their families.